<laughs> wow. This still left over product on this brush. I can't talk and do this. <laughs> it's getting in my mouth. What up, it's your girl Mena. Actually, good morning. Welcome to my channel. Today we are obviously in my bathroom. I'm getting ready. I have been filming in different areas of my house and here we are in the bathroom. So if you're enjoying the more lifestyle feel of things, I want you to let me know. Text me if you're in the US, join my text community, it's free. Also follow me on IG, cause like, why not? A lot goes down over there. When I'm not here, I'm there. So join me there. I post weekly videos. Glad you're here watching this one watch some more after you're done. I do have a cold, hence why I sound the way I do, drinking my Theraflu as I get ready this morning. We're talking, we're medicating, we are getting glam. It's the whole nine yards today. Now in, in this case, the tea is hot, literally. <laughs> Not that kind of tea, you feel me? This is the straight wig that I actually did a video on. It's still straight from when I did the video and learned that new silky straight process that I learned. It does, however, need some oil, but it is still straight, you dig? And this robe is from Target. All right, I need to get ready today. Let's just chit chat. Let's just do a general chit chat. Okay, so here's the thing. If you're a content creator, it is time to send out, unless you have an accountant who does that for you, like a bookkeeper. Right now I don't have a bookkeeper. I'm very savvy with things. I figure things out, I get it done. So I keep I keep my own books, okay? What I'm getting at is that it's tax time, okay? Praise the Lord. It's, it's, it's always like, it's offered time in the church, okay? It's, it's tax time. This is Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer. And if you use contractors, contractor can be a photographer, could be a videographer, could be a virtual assistant, anyone who you've contracted that's not a W-2 employee, who you're not providing healthcare benefits or benefits in general too, and what they're working for you and you're paying them. It's time for them folks to get their, their 1099s, baby, if you're paying them over $600 total. So I'm working on that. Ah, and like, I need to tidy up my books for last year. So that's going on. And then I have to head out and he has soccer practice. Like the whole thing, you know? And I wanna be that mom who is put together, got her ish together, just, you know, like glam, like why not? Cause I deserve it. And we talked about just doing things for self because if it makes you feel good, just do that thing. This is the Huda Beauty Ganache, okay? Faux Filter Luminous Matte. So just in the spirit of doing things for self, even if it's just soccer practice or errands, if you you want to do it for any of those reasons, who's going to stop you? You know, who's going to check you like Sheree would say. So that is the energy that I'm bringing to this Monday. Yeah, so there's bookkeeping stuff going on. I had a nice call this morning with a brand I'm excited to work with this year. I have been making all kinds of purchases on Amazon. I mean, who isn't? And honestly and truly trying to drink more water, like not even figuratively, but seriously, <laughs> trying to drink more water. Am I my business, you know what I'm saying? Cause those things are very important, you know? So that's what's going on around here. Working out, you know what I'm saying, is really important. Ramming that up with some seriousness. It's, it's a lifestyle, it's a continual start and stop. It's nauseating, but it's important. So still doing all of that. Now this is a warm foundation. So right now I'm gonna put this mirror down. I'm trying to find somewhere to put it down. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Standing up, do my makeup like I'm in a hotel. So finding ways to make sure that I am consistent is really important to me. So wiping off the excess, right? Because we're not trying to add more product and then blending it to the perimeter of my face. I don't want there to be harsh lines. And I also don't want to put a lot of product on my chin. Yo, so I need to go and get my touch up for my brows, but I can't lie. Part of me is like, do I even need to do it? I know that it's what people do, but do I want to do that? I don't have to, like what? But is there going to be much of a difference? I need to figure that out because not being able to do my face for a week, it just slows me down. It's it's not being able to do my face. It's not being able to work out. It's it's all the things. It's like, excuse me. It just makes my life come to a halt. And I, that might sound dramatic to you, but because of what I do, it's true. So I'm not sure that I'm ready. Let's be definitive. I'm not ready to pause again for another week. That's what's holding me back right now. So we are gonna see. 
Remember, let's be definitive when we speak. We're not speaking in maybes and I think. We already know what it is. So what, what are we maybe and thinking about? We already know our answer. And the answer is it's either yes or it's a no. So this is Betsy Pro Filter 430. And I've added some new things in here as I've been doing my face over the past week with this kit. I'm enjoying it. It's, it feels new. It feels different. I hope that your interest is peaked because we're in a new space, you know? Amazon sponges. I should have cleaned that better, but it's my face. Like, hello? I just used this a few days ago. I need to put bar soap. Do you know that antibacterial bar soap cleans sponges so good? Granted, you can buy the sponge cleaners and stuff, but girl, mm -mm. antibacterial bar soap because you're gonna kill the bacteria because that's important. And then you also gonna clean off that sponge. It cleans so quickly. This morning I was going real bootleg. I used a face cleanser to clean this and it, it doesn't work well because it was a gentle cleanser I think I was using and just nonsense I should have walked over and got the bar soap but I didn't okay do better than me that's what I want for you you feel what I'm saying so here we are with the under eye highlight are we still highlighting ladies I know a lot of you get so frustrated with trying to find your color I'm gonna do this often when I see comments that I just I can't answer all of them I want to answer them in the videos how about that how about that. What if I made that a thing? A chit chat, get ready with me, where I'm answering. It's not a Q and A, I guess. It's more just responding to comments that I just I can't write a response out to all the time. I remember what people are saying generally, so it's not like I need to be reading it to know what y'all are saying. But I know that color matching is a problem, and what's hard about it is many times the product looks different in the bottle than it does once you pump it out. Like if you watch my Charlotte Tilbury video, I was like, oh yeah, these are all not gonna work or whatever I thought, and then when I pumped it out, I was. I was like, wait a minute, this first color is mine. It'd be looking different in the tube or the, the component. And I get that. Cause even me, I'd be like, mm, this ain't it. So you really do have to pump it out. And back in the day at Max, I don't, I don't do swatches in store because I've gotten a lot better with figuring out my color based on the shade descriptions online. And then I look at the pictures too. So I don't go in store and do swatches. And then I also buy a few and I know that I, I can do that. I know that not everyone can afford to do that. I'm trying to think about what it is like for someone who is not a makeup artist and they're trying to figure out their shade. I get it. And it has taken a lot of trial and error to understand that I prefer a neutral undertone foundation. Now, this one I have on right now, Ganache R, it's red, it's cool, red is cool. But like, it also looks warm to me. I mean, I don't know. Some of this I'll be like, what is this, okay? It looks warm to me like giving orange, but you know, we make it work. I could use a different foundation, honestly. But I try to make my foundations work, you know that about me. But I don't wanna confuse you. So what I'm trying to say is, I have figured out that I like a neutral foundation and I can definitely make a dark foundation work. So with that, when I look at the descriptions of the foundations online, I go right toward the neutral section. I eliminate the warm, I eliminate the red, I eliminate the, mm, sometimes I'll be okay with cool, but it just depends. But I go right toward the neutral and I don't go neutral olive undertones. I just try to stick with neutral. Sometimes it's neutral deep, neutral deepest. It just really depends. And some brands just don't have a color that matches me. And if that's the case, I just won't wear that product line with that brand. They just might not have a shade that matches me. And then in that case, just is what it is. Like the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, no, CC Camo Powder Foundation. I wanna get it, but they don't have many options. So the one I bought, I wanted to use it today actually. Shoot, it's my studio. The one I got, I don't even know what it would be. Would it set my under eye? Cause it's not my face or my neck color. So there is that. So what I'm saying is, it's not every product that you're gonna find your shade in, number one. But if you have the money, and I wanna respect the fact that not everyone can be out here buying seven different shades okay but if you have the money get a few shades and be at home and put them bad boys on apply it to your cheek one area and see how it looks in contrast to the other but if they're doing swatches in store whatever store you choose to go into to try things out obviously you can't swatch on drugstore stuff although we have talked about this in the drugstore stuff be tried on stuff be well used you be like, uh, excuse me, who's out here putting on their foundation for dinner at Walmart? Like, what are we doing right now, you know? So there's that. No, I can't lie, back in my day, back in my trifling days, baby, I have been at the drugstore and I have opened up, you know, 
just a little pump on the hand. I have done that, but I'm not advocating for you to do that, okay? It is not the right thing to do. We want to do what? Do better, okay? But, and I know that not everyone can, but I can tell from my hand if a foundation color will match me. And I can also tell on my hand if a concealer color will flatter me. It's looking very yellow. Hang on, let me change my settings a second. I just brought in some more blue for my camera settings so I didn't look so orange. Cause in real life I don't look orange. Just have to fix that. So, you know, I can, I just know from my hand and that's because I'm a former makeup artist. If you will, I actually still am. I do my own makeup. That's just what it is. And then I have just done this for so long, over 10 years. It's been what, 12, 13 years now. And I understand that not everyone has that same background. I gotta fix this. Look at that tri trifling, yeah. We are singing even though we are under the weather, okay? So, I just, what am I trying to say? Basically, it would behoove you to get a few shades, try them on at home. If you go to a store that allows for face swatches, then certainly you wanna do that. Even in my NARS video, you might swatch a color, it's very highly pigmented in one area, and you might think, oh no, this is too light, or oh, usually it's light. Usually it's too light. But then, even in my NARS video, if you haven't watched it, you need to watch it. When you blend that baby out, baby looking right. You gotta blend the product out because then baby gonna be looking real different. Baby gonna be looking like she will work. So even just one little swatch on the cheek, don't be fooled in the store and be like, oh no, it's too light or oh, this is perfect or whatever it is. You really wanna blend that out. And I remember I used to go in store and have on makeup talking about, let me see what shade, no. You need to put it onto your face if you really aren't sure or if you can buy a few shades and return it. And I know that it creates waste for the brands, but <laughs> if this is a store that doesn't allow for you to do swatches on your face, then too bad. Like, I don't understand. I mean, they're creating waste regardless with those testers that folks be trying out. They get herpes and simplex and all that, you know, in the store. So I don't know what to say. You gotta try it on somehow. Either you bring it home and you test them or you do not do it in the store if you feel comfortable to take off your mask or whatever you're doing with your life when it comes to that. But bottom line, you do need to get that on the face, okay? And blend it, cause it makes a big difference. Now, a long time ago, I introduced y'all to this By Terry setting powder. I put it on right now. But my, I feel like my sentiments are changing, you know why? Either that or there's something going on. Wow, oh, this is very finely milled. And even though I'm using a sponge, it's still spreading. It's still, it's still flying. What? So it got in my mouth a little bit. Although this is stark white, this is one of the powders similar to, what's that brand? There's another one that I love too. I forget, should I go like this? I don't know what I should do. You know I don't be doing the sponge thing. You have not seen me use a sponge for my highlight in a long time, but ever since I came in the bathroom, I started doing it again and it's been working kind of good, I think. I don't know. I usually do the brush because there was a time in my life, once upon a time, it's once my band camp, right? I used to do the whole sponge thing and I felt like it was leaving marks. This is why I was saying that I think my sentiments about this powder is changing. It's very matte because look at how it's really set right here and also right here. Now, one could say that it's my skin, my skin is dry, but why is it so set right there and not so set under my eyes? Whatever. When I do the whole face and I spray it down, it comes together. I am going to be using this Revolution Beauty Coconut Huawei. This is new. Coconut Restore Fixing Spray Rehab Ceramide Coconut Fixing Spray Set and Refresh the Skin. Girl, a lot. I was using the makeup for everyone, but it sprays out. It sprays out like like a water hose. It's just too much. And then it goes it goes straight. It doesn't go like this. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? It goes like this. Instead of this, it goes this. It's too much. And then it's just like, it's a super soaker as opposed to this, you know. Mm. Look at me sipping it like it's a fragrance. I can't do this. Should I spray now? We're doing things differently. No, I need to powder my face first because I don't know what, listen, I've been trying out new things just like y'all. I don't know what my face would look like if I spray now before my face powder because you know I do face powder. Listen, I'm not about to be here trying out new things and then be looking real stupid because you know that be happening. You try things out new thinking you're cute. You looking real dumb. I don't, I don't like that. I don't subscribe to that kind of stuff. So let me, that, 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 that mirror is too small. Let me push back. <sighs> That don't be working for me, you know? Am I looking orange? Hi, what's going on? Because in real life, 
That is not the case. You gotta make sure your camera settings don't play you, okay? Yo, I was on a Zoom call today and my face looks crazy. I need to like fix it with my face powder. I was on a Zoom call today, right? Why didn't y'all tell me that you can add eyebrows in Zoom? Like, excuse me? I was like, what does this mean? You can literally add eyebrows in Zoom. Uh-uh, I was like, no, 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 no. And I don't, I don't, if you follow me on Instagram, which if not, you should. I don't use filters on IG. I just don't, I, it, first of all, it's annoying to me when I see someone that posts a lot of filters. That's my, oh my God, my face looks psychotic. Ah, oh dear God. Yo, this by Terry is not the business. Yeah, I, I was already feeling, oh no, I gotta take this out of my kit right now. We are not doing this ever again. Yo, it's set in more places than others. It's like too much right here, too much right there, too much. Thank God today's just a chill day. We ain't really going nowhere like that. What is that? Why does it look, wait, do I need to exfoliate? What's going on in my face? Look at my nose. I need to exfoliate my nose. I'm showing you this because in case you're wondering like, why is my face like that? That looks like dead skin to me. Right on my nose, clumpy like that. It looks like I need to exfoliate. So this could be a mixture of you need to exfoliate and also this this product is trifling. Uh, it's the product for sure. We are all over the place. Comment below if you are enjoying this or if you're getting a headache. This is just what it is right now. Like I said, this is a very casual video, almost a vlog, you know? Uh, I need to, it's time to shave for sure. I'm seeing all of the facial hair. And if you've ever been skeptical about shaving, I don't look like a werewolf, do I? I do not, I don't look like lions, tigers, and bears. However, I know that my face could be a lot smoother with a shave. My God, today, this powder is insane. What was I saying? I think it's time for tea <laughs> in the Yeti. Yeti, you wanna sponsor me? Give it a shot. You will not regret it. Okay, I did face powder. All this chit chat got me all confused, but it's gonna come together. This is the thing. If you have the talent that I have, baby, it's gonna come together. At least I hope. Let's see. Now let's do the spray because I'm a little bit. Well, should I do the spray now or after? Because I am gonna do my rare beauty. Let's do it after. I had the color transcend in here, and transcend is a rose gold. I don't like it. I'm used to what I'm used to, and I'm used to the glam being at least. The highlight portion being the same. Oh, you know I had the Fenty highlight? I need to use it. It's my other kit. I need to use it. I haven't. I was just not happy with that rose gold situation. I want to stick with what I know, you know? And this is what I know. My nose highlight. Girl, this nose is looking so dumb today. It's not looking the way it needs to look. Oh my God, that powder. <laughs> that powder messed me up. Like all the way up. Y'all watch people that don't have personality? Somebody commented one time, I appreciated it. And she was like, I love, so I, I'm paraphrasing cause I don't remember the whole thing, but some, I'm gonna fix that with the spray. This face is a mess today. I have to say, this is not my best work at all. I don't know what it is. It is a rainy day, that could be it. I really can't explain it. But she goes something to the effect of, I love watching your videos. You educate us and you're also entertaining. I don't like watching videos that are not entertaining, that are boring. And I'm like, excuse me, what do they call it? Kin, kin, what do they call it? Kindred sin, kin, ooh, not me saying kindred sins. Kindred, girl, I don't know. Listen, I I have an issue with all the names of things. We've discussed this time and time again. She, something, either way. Kindred spirits, yeah, that. I'm like, girl, I'm the same way. I get annoyed. I'm like, you're boring. I love your content. You're boring or your content's boring and you're also boring. Praise the Lord, it just is what it is. But I just like to make sure that my personality is <laughs> prominent because otherwise why would you be sitting here watching this video with me just talking about what kind of topics because we are jumping from topic to topic you know what i'm saying how am i gonna keep you here if i'm boring and there's no energy i would never if i don't want to watch my own video how in the world can i expect you to do it okay let me do my blush because i don't i don't put powder on top of a wet face wait Oh my gosh, I didn't bring what I needed today. I'm annoyed. I got this blush from ColourPop. Listen, I'm gonna use the Old Faithful. Always Spicy El Cosmetics. You would think somebody under the weather wouldn't be talking so much, but baby, he is risen, you know? He is the risen king, so we, we good over here in these streets. Is it gonna give me the pigment I need? A dirty brush, meaning a brush that has a lot of product on it, to me works better because why? It has leftover product, it gets you faster. It's like the, the HOV lane. 
gonna get your destination a lot faster. This one isn't that dirty and it's really soft too. It's softer than that MAC blush brush that I use in my kit that's in my studio. This is heavy too, it's very dense. This is the Sigma Powder Sculpt brush. I forgot that you advised me to tell your brushes that I'm using. I forgot. I haven't been doing it. I understand. I think my face looks so stupid. I do not like this makeup. <laughs> Yay. Let's go ahead and get the spray today because maybe that's gonna give us something. We're trying this for the first time. Like I said, coconut restore situation ship and all of the things. And I have my fan. I never spray at this point, but it's a must right now because the face is looking very, what? Questionable. So let's go and see what this is gonna do for the people. Mm -hmm. Mm. And now I sprayed it until the point where I did not feel my face dry in any area. I wanted the whole face to be saturated. What I can say is it is a light, light mist. It smells really good. It has a fragrance. It doesn't, you need to keep on going to get enough on the face. So in this case, it is the opposite of the makeup everyone that I didn't like, the setting, fixing, something, something. And because of that, I'll take it. It does smell really good. The fragrance is very strong and you gotta get close. Otherwise it feels like it's not even getting on the face. You gotta get the spray bottle close to the face. You know how there are some three bottles that indicate that you should put the bottle eight to 12 feet away. <laughs> Wait, not feet, inches. We're not putting this a shack's foot away. We need this to be close to the face, okay? I don't know centimeters. I don't know how to do that. Oh, but this is a, a UK brand. So close your eyes, hold 20 to 23 centimeters away. Well, what does that mean? I mean, all due respect, I don't do centimeters. So like, <laughs> I don't understand. Like, I don't get it. Like, what do you expect me to do? Anywho, like I said, for me, it worked spraying it close and I think my face looks better. <laughs> Does it look better? It went back to being dry. We did use a little, oh my God. You can still see that dry spot right there. Oh my God. That ain't good. That ain't good. Like, good thing this is not a content day. Like, this gonna be okay to send out 1099s, baby, but this ain't gonna be right for videos. Like, what is that? Let me spray some more. You know what? This is not making me dewy. I need a spray that's gonna make me dewy. This set me back where I was. Yeah, I need a spray that's gonna make my face look wet so that this can go away. Hang on, let me get a new spray. Okay! <laughs> okay, so I went and changed the powder for next time and I got the Mill Hydro Grip, Grip Set and Refresh Spray. I don't even think it's supposed to shake this. I'm doing a lot today, okay? I'm doing a lot. Okay, praise the Lord. This is gonna get us dewy. You know I've talked to you about this. This is really good, so let's do it. Let's see what we got, because we're looking dry. Like, this is not. I'm trying to smile to see if I have any cracks. No cracks, I feel comfortable, but I need hydration. Oh! <laughs> Look at that, I hate that. I hate when, let <laughs> me give her, give her a little bit of a test drive. Let's try again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's giving me medium soak. Medium soak in, in a good way. How's it looking? I feel like it's better. Oh yeah. Look at that. I even look wet. <laughs> oh yeah, I look wet. Ooh, it's gonna take a minute for this to dry. Yeah, that other one, that's for play. That's play makeup. Mm-mm, not this one. This one is the business. I'm in a big mood. Hey, get a lot of feel you. Hey, something with some do when I fuck it. I need a do Ah, those are not the words. <laughs> but I never told you I came here to teach you music. You know, although we do sing around here on this channel, praise his name. Now I could use, I see y'all, I see people be doing a sponge. They be sponging their faces. Nah, chill, son. I'm not about to do that. I need this to dry naturally. I don't be doing that. I'm not gonna rush the process. You feel what I'm saying? This is looking real dewy though. I'm reminded why I like this so much. It's even making the blush pop. Look at the dew right here, the forehead. Uh, you can still see that issue, but it's, it is pretty bad. <laughs> it is pretty bad. Whatever, we're gonna move forward. I'm liking how much dewier 
I'm looking. My lips keep on sticking together because I have on the e.l.f. lip primer. It's getting on my nerves. So let me put on a lip product because it's driving me insane. I haven't done a pop of color in a minute. Should I do red? Should I do burgundy? My Jenny was like, burgundy. This feels like it should have been alive because y'all could have just steered me in the direction to go, you know? All right, I decided that my eye is gonna be like brown spicy. So I'm gonna use Mario, Makeup by Mario, Amanda, lipstick. This is a plump. All right, so brows and eyeshadow primer are on, all right? And I'm gonna be using this old school palette. Now, I did spray it with alcohol because this is my favorite. I can't find it again. This is the Morphe 3502 palette, stretching my forehead because, hello, creases. Uh -huh. There are no names to these colors, but we gonna move anyway and get this. This brush is too big for the crease. Oh my gosh, this is humongous. There is leftover brown on here so we gonna see how this gonna come out always tapping off the excess i'm tapping into my sink Ooh, i need to pluck those brow hairs do you see those i gotta pluck those brow hairs it's a problem hi oh in case you're wondering this is a sigma e61 all-purpose buffer brush all right now this light color i'm using is the kind that you have to spend a lot of time building up because it looks like it's gonna be chalky and it's not gonna work but if you spend some time applying it, maybe 20 times, <laughs> it'll it'll actually apply and look like something. I'm going all over the lid right here to do, what is that? Is that skin? Ooh, do I have peeling skin on my eyelid? Oh, what is going on today? <laughs> Ooh, I do have some dead skin there. Ooh, it's gonna have to just come off naturally. Do not exfoliate your eyelids, please. Just keep it hydrated and the skin will just melt off basically. So it's gonna look like a cut crease. Nothing intentional, but it's just gonna look like a cut crease. Right here on the lid. <laughs> look at how dewy the face is compared to the eyelid being so matte. So interesting. Okay, now with this e.l.f. brush, I'm gonna take a dark brown from this palette. There's so many options in here and just go right here into the crease. So it's gonna look like a cut crease. All right, and now I took a color that is a little mauve, but dark mauve-ish. And I'm going lightly with a bigger brush over where I had this brown to just blend all of that in. It's matching my lip a little more than it was before. I'm deepening the crease with a darker brown color in here. And now for mascara, I'm using the Urban Decay Lash Freak. All right, finally, I know it was a long video. Thanks for watching the whole thing. The look is zen, baby. I'm gonna link what I can below. Pick one of the two videos that are gonna come up next to watch because you ain't got nothing to do anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Follow on Instagram, comment below, let me know what part of this look you enjoyed the most. Make sure you're subscribed. And as always, glad you're here. Glad you watched my video. Watch some more. And we'll talk later in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.